Hi, good people. This is Deborah. Hope your day is going well. All information provided on this channel is for educational purposes only. This channel does not promote or encourage misuse of the information. Take what resonates with you and what does not resonate with you, put it on the shelf or throw it away. Now, I'm going to talk about the 144,000s. Some people think that the 12 tribes of Israel was actually real. There was no tribes called the 12 tribes of Israel. The word itself, Isis Ra El, is what it means. And Isis Ra El is spirit, it's Isis. Ra is the mind, which is the sun, the S-U-N. And E-L are the elements, which is fire, earth, fire, air, water, earth, and the chakra system, which is inside of you, which are the 12, the 12 tribes of Israel. Okay? That's what Israel is. And so... You want to come through the positive and negative of yourself. And as you overcome your lower self in each uh, tribe, they also mention as the uh, zodiac. But as you go through each one of them within yourself and overcome, because uh, you have to overcome it, because what you're trying to do is come from your lower self to your higher self. Okay? So, over in the uh, the book of Numbers 2-2, two, two, uh, it gives you the 12 tribes of Israel, but it gives you the flag color. The flag color represents the colors of the chakra system. Okay? Keep in mind, the 12 tribes are the 12 uh, chakra system within your body. Okay, and each one of them goes, uh, represents a color. And I was giving you numbers 2-2, two, two, which, which, which tells you what each one of those colors are. And when you take those and study the chakra system, they actually align up with the colors of the chakra system within your body. Have you noticed that you like a particular color? When you take a, a look at the particular color that you like, that is where you are. So if let's just say that you like the, the color red a lot. That's the root chakra. That is the beginning stage. So you have to overcome the lower self within the root chakra. And you have to become grounded. And how do you know that you're grounded? I'll tell you how. Your feet will begin to sound like a generator. Have you ever been in one of those uh, generator rooms? Uh, that's how your feet is going to be moving. Just like that. Trust me. Uh, when it first happened to me, I was like, what? But trust me. That's, that's how you know you're grounded. If you don't experience your feet sounding like a generator, then you may not be grounded. But you have to, you have to go through. Uh, if you're grounded in the root chakra, that means that you're at the higher part of yourself in the root chakra. Uh, okay, now. Also in... Revelation, it talks about, it gives you a different number over in the book of Numbers regarding uh, each uh, children of Israel. But in the book of Revelation 7, it gives you, for each one of them, a total, well, not a total, well, each one of them represent 12,000, okay? When you take 12,000, and you multiply it times 12, that's going to give you 144,000 right there. Okay? 
uh, that's within the body. Now, when you look at the uh, the root chakra, there are four uh, petals. When you look at the sacral chakra, there are six petals. When you look at the solar plexus, there are 10 petals. When you look at the heart chakra, there are 12 petals. And then when you look at the throat chakra, there are 16 petals. When you look at uh, the pineal gland, which is not called the third eye, it's called the, uh, the, the single eye, which is located in the, um, the third ventricle. Okay, look it up. There are four ventricles, V-E-N-T-I-C-L-E. There are four of them, okay? It's in the, the third, the, the, what you call the third eye, it's actually the single eye in the third ventricle, which is actually the pineal gland. It actually has a total of 96 petal, uh, petals, okay? Now, the crown chakra, which is where you want to get to, which is your higher self, is actually a thousand petals petals so when you take and add four plus six plus ten plus twelve plus sixteen plus ninety six plus a thousand you will get a hundred and forty four thousand so people a hundred and forty four thousand is not uh it's not the people that's going to be saved. It's, it's a uh, metaphor or an allegory talking about your inside. Okay? So the 144,000 is within your body. So I hope this clears up. Uh, it's called the, in Hindu, it's called the, the, Sar, the Saharara which is S-A-H-A-S-R-A-R-A. -A -A. It's called the lotus flower, okay? And um, and then it was not invented by those that you see there in, uh, in India. Uh, it was way before them. Just wanted to make you know that because I just think it's important to give credit to those that uh, originally knew this information now those that are there now they they uh received the information from from those that was originally there uh just wanted to uh help you to know that so when you go and look at uh revelation uh seven one through eight the main uh scripture is revelation seven four but you want to read all of uh, Revelation 7, 1 through 8, and then Revelation 14, 1, and then Numbers 2, 2. You might want to take a look at all of the, the numbers because the book of Numbers are there for a purpose. We, numbers, there were numbers before there were letters, just to give you an idea of how history was. There were visual then numbers uh one was not the beginning number it was zero they removed the zero from the beginning and they put it behind uh the number 10. uh that's what they did so they they made you think one was the beginning of the numbers and it was not but hopefully this give you an understanding uh take a look at my uh, charts that I have put together and then do your own research and uh, but hopefully you understand clearly uh, what I'm saying uh, 144,000 is not 144,000 of people 144,000 is within your body that is a number that they came up with regarding your body 
Now, keep in mind, I've always said to you that the Bible itself is an allegory book or it is a me- it's metaphors. And if you don't see it as metaphors, just keep on going. Eventually, you're going to go from literal thinking to spiritual thinking because when you see it from uh, a metaphor, then you, that's your spiritual mind helping you. But as long as you're looking at it from a literal Uh, You're still operating in your lower self. But anyway, have a good day, people.